Hello, Namaskara. Uh, it's indeed a, a great privilege for me to be a part of this event. Uh, I happened to receive this call yesterday and when I got this information, I was all excited. Uh, reason one is such a wonderful event uh, where you can be a part of uh, a lot of academic stalwarts like you out there. So I thought it's a great opportunity for me to connect with all of you. So I thank uh, Rio Technologies for this uh, occasion. Well, uh, I won't take much time, but uh, I'm in this teaching fraternity since last 17 years now. And uh, I've been currently associated with Global Institute for Business Studies as uh, International Relations Head. Uh, also, uh, parallelly, I look upon uh, strategic alliances and executive education, which is uh, the current uh, gain these days in the education sector. While well, being in this uh, education sector for almost one and a half decades, uh, what I've understood is there are four important pillars for the education institute because I would like to say this because we have a lot of uh, academic leaders out here who is present who is in direct touch with the students as well as the industries. So the four pillars, one out of one would be uh, academics because that's the bread and butter end of the day. Uh, I think uh, teaching is an art, right? And uh, over the last few years we have developed uh, a lot of, a lot of, I would say, uh, various uh, innovative teaching pedagogy, which has been made, you know, the classroom and uh, learning very, very interactive and interesting. And also thanks to uh, COVID, who took us uh, two years of time in between us, but then uh, we were able to connect with the, the students despite of the glitches. So academics is the, the bread and butter, and I would say that as the first pillar. The second interesting pillar would be the research. Now, that is one field where India as a whole has not spent enough time and money over there. I'm talking about the academic research. Uh, this is unfortunately been taken as some number game. People are behind uh, the number of paper being published, the number of paper being presented at the conferences. Unfortunately, uh, very few percentage of it are really focused on qualitative research, which is lacking these days. And uh, we lag very behind, uh, you know, when we take uh, global rankings in terms of research. I think we have a long way to go here. So that's another, I would say, the second important pillar for any organization, organization because that's where you tend to develop your subject knowledge and that's where you'll be able to connect with the students. The third pillar would be the alumni relations. Now, the students are the real brand ambassador for any institution is what I feel. Now, GIBS is where I come from, has a history of uh, 14 years as of now. So, I think we have a lot of students who are well settled abroad and well settled within India. Uh, you know, catching some various good positions in the corporate field, some went on to become the finest of the entrepreneurs. But they are the real brand ambassadors of it. I think we need to develop a solid connect with the alumni relations, which is a fourth pillar, a third pillar according to me. And the last pillar is where I'm uh, currently working on, which is international relations. Internationalizing education is what everyone is looking to. Of course, we have added something called as National Education Policy 2020, which has brought in the required changes. But otherwise, I think uh, there is something really interesting happening abroad. Now, so has traveled uh, uh, many countries, and uh, uh, you would agree with this fact. And I'm also, uh, you know, uh, the visiting faculty of uh, many universities in US. Uh, Europe and uh, uh, Asia as well. I have traveled over 21 countries, but there's a long way to go when, when it comes to uh, the internationalizing education. I think that is where I think we have to really work it on, and that's why uh, every institutions today are uh, uh, behind collaborations, you know, collaborations and getting in touch with uh, the top universities in the world. I think that's the need of the art today. Uh, what, well, one thing I was really impressed with one of the universities in Germany when I visited in 2016, uh, because uh, we all address about uh, ethics, we all address about governance, we talk about uh, values, etc. I happened to see an examination hall uh, where students were appearing for the uh, university examinations, and uh, uh, you know, to my surprise, they didn't even have one single room invigilators. I mean, just imagine the Indian examination scenarios. You have a bunch of 20 students, you'll have all uh, invigilators who sometimes look like a commandos as well. Right? So, uh, I mean, uh, when I checked in, I thought, okay, I'm in Germany, maybe they have high definition cameras, but they have no CCTV cameras over there, no uh, invigilators, students are minding their own business, they write and they just go. I mean, I, I just gave an example of how ethics and governance is practiced at that level, but there's a lot of things that we need to uh, learn from the uh, uh, many of the emerging countries, I would say. 
but yes, uh, I think uh, post COVID, especially uh, Indian education sector has seen a lot of transformation, a lot of transformation, and uh, India has also been an education hub. And I hope you all know that very soon we will be uh, passing the bill in the Parliament, which is pending long time, which is International Universities Bill, Foreign Universities Bill, which will allow the foreign universities to come and set up the branches in India. Now this is going to be a big booster. At the same time, it's going to be challenging for many universities. But then I think, uh, come on, we are in the era of globalization. This is inevitable. I mean, this is something today or tomorrow is going to happen. Well, lastly, I would say, as a teacher, as an academician, I think what we should really focus these days on the students is that the skill sets. I think even the uh, uh, the founder of this institution, Mr. Vinay, was pressing up to that point very, very uh, seriously. But skill sets is what uh, is lacking today because academic grade sheets doesn't define the students. Uh, I mean, it's just a piece of sheet today. I mean, they don't even ask you in the interview as well, right? So I think uh, the technical skill sets, the communication skill sets, there are so many 21st century skill sets, which is the need of the hour today. I think uh, that is where all the education institutions should join hands and develop students holistically, not just academically, but then uh, holistically. I think this is the need of the hour and uh, this is what India needs today in the education sector. And I'm sure with the uh, academic stalwarts present here and uh, we could bring in a lot of required changes among the students. Uh, we could bring in the required changes what uh, the country needs. So saying this, uh, I extend uh, my heartfelt thanks to the organization for bringing this opportunity to be here and also to have uh, interacted. I definitely wish to interact with you for this session. Thank you so much. Thank you.